for being the happiest place on earth seem to be a lot of unhappy feelings about it. Mm. Is it because we haven't been on Tower of Terror in so long? I just I'm sorry, don't Guardians know the why they had to make it into that rocket I raccoon know, thing. I know. I was Brad, fine with Bradley it being Bradley Cooper spooky. needed another paycheck. So That's what voice it is. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I'm Andy Reesmeyer. I'm Samantha Cortese. Thanks for following along. Oh, oh right on wow. Wow. Very good. It's magical. Very good. Also, Nailed it. Bobby Gonzalez is here. Hello. You can follow me here. No, oh, sweet. Oh, I went the other way. <laughs> Some people go both ways. Oh, fun. I'll just do this next time anyway. And, oh, yeah. uh, of course, we cannot forget the man himself. Wizard of Oz. What's Robert up, guys? Pointe. Wizard of Oz. Uh, just, just as good. Hi, guys. Uh, Robert Puente. Just Rob 101. It's gone now. But uh, give me a follow. Give me a like. Hit me up. Land in my DMs. I will respond eventually. Other people message me about your power lifting. <laughs> they do. And what I'm do not say? on social for another Do they say he curves weeks? his back? They do. They said mm. if if mm. Robert <laughs> calls in because of his shoulder <laughs> and they send me your you story. Know. <laughs> yes. You know, uh, Robert, there's uh, somebody out there that I think that you should uh, be aware of. And I'll tell you about it after this next story while I pull it up on the Facebook group. And I, I will tell wait. you about this wait. story. Mm-hmm. We are learning details about California's out-of-state visitor ban at theme parks, including Disneyland and Universal Studios. Theme parks will be required to limit ticket sales to in-state residents only. People will buy tickets online in a reservation system that uses GPS data to help the theme park track who is buying tickets and where they live. The Hi. system will also allow for contact tracing if there's a COVID-19 outbreak tied to the park. California theme parks in counties that are in the tier uh, in the red tier are cleared to reopen with limited capacity April 1st. It's a little spooky, it seems. I don't like that. Yes. I'm glad you agree because uh, yeah. people here in the engineering department and IT have asked if I've been traveling out of the country because I have a VPN and it says that I'm right. in many different... I'm in Canada, mm -hmm. I'm in Chicago. So if I want to go to Disneyland... It's, yeah, it's not that you travel out of country or anything like that. You just engage in identity fraud. Yeah, right. I'm a million yeah. different people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get that. Mm -hmm. Which is like totally permitted under the, I think, red tier rule. <laughs> red tier allows for identity theft. Yeah. It's not a laughing matter. No. But to your point, Sam, like if, if you're concerned about maybe not being able to get tickets because your computer shows you're elsewhere, but somebody else in another state with a VPN can... can just uh -huh. say they're in California and That's then come point. over and buy the tickets. I don't That's think it's going to be point. that hard to exploit this system. Uh, it might deter some people, but uh, uh, people are going to find a way to go to Disneyland, let me tell you that. Mm. And if it did work, that would be great to know that everybody there is like mm. within a, a certain radius of the park or whatever. I don't know. Does that, that make you it feel better? No, I don't know. know. After it's I said weird. it out loud, it's Because like, like you said, like how, how do you police any of I this? I think it's just like once it's open, you open the floodgates. Good luck trying to police anything after that. Good luck you anybody know? else. I know you say that, <laughs> but again, why are we looking to Florida for an example? <laughs> like, it's a weird, it's a weird yeah. second earth situation no, where I, we're like, I, Florida did it. I, but I, and I, I know, the, the only time in history where we're like, but Florida! But, see? but, no, Florida. but, but I, I, I think you're right in that it, it's like, the, the restrictions are a false sense of security. Yeah, don't travel ways. 120 miles outside it's your It's this thing, all even that, all yeah. of it, it's, it's it, a little bit of it is theater at a certain point. Why is 15 minutes okay? Why is 16 minutes not? What is six feet? What is six and a half feet? Mm -hmm. What's three feet? Yeah, this, as far as the distancing go. And, and so we reach a point where we no longer uh, when all these like very very specific rules are trying to control something that is abstract, that's already tough, right? Mm -hmm. Couple that with all these restrictions that we've been under for a year, a literal year as of today, and then you see uh, Florida didn't have restrictions like we did. Florida let everybody kind of go nuts. California still had the rules. People didn't follow them. It doesn't matter if people don't follow them. Might as well not even have rules. So did Florida at least have? Like capacity in some other facilities, 50% uh, uh, capacity. Yeah, yeah, they weren't fully open for this whole pandemic. They allowed X amount in. At Disneyland, you had to wear your mask, and it, they made people stay, like you said, six feet apart. At the park, they were very stringent about the rules at Disneyland. But you got to think, if you're wearing your mask, I mean, this is like we know this in airports and air travel, right? It's pretty safe, relatively speaking. Yes. Uh, being outside, pretty safe, pretty low risk. Great. Then we're going to Machu Picchu, we're going to London, we're going to Paris. And we're going to somewhere else all together mm. since we can go on a plane and not get COVID.